Hi, this is Pat Love back with Pat's Two Cents. Now listen, I was uh, I, I was reminded of a movie I was watching a while back. And in this movie, this girl was being dropped off by some people she knew. And what stuck in my mind was she did not allow them to drop her off in front of her home. She had them drop her off in front of a beautiful house, beautiful pristine yard in a wonderful neighborhood she had to walk miles from to get home. Why? She was keeping up appearances. She did not have the confidence to allow these people to know that she and her family were not as well off as they had assumed. They weren't well off at all. So she was embarrassed, quite embarrassed. Now, all these people all this time were thinking she was living a good life. She was not. They were, most of them were better off than she was. Isn't that funny how we do that? We keep up appearances. Well, let me share this with you. Some of you keep up appearances in church. And people think that you have got a connection with God that will beat the band. They believe you are a prayer warrior and you are a Holy Ghost Bible uh, uh, genius. Oh my goodness, they think you got it going on, going and coming. But God knows where you live. That's the sentence that kept coming to me. God knows where you really live. So no matter what you do, no matter how you get over, no matter how many people are panting at your every word, God knows where you live. And if you're smart while you're still living, it might be best for you to sit your little behind down and pass that pulpit up to someone else until you get your attitude, your mouth, your hands, your actions, till you get yourself together. Because if God is not pleased with you, no matter how pleased you may be with yourself, if God is not pleased with you, you're wasting his time And you're wasting his people's time by giving them dry goods and notions based on your charm, your personality, your abilities, your giftings, your charisma, and maybe even your looks for that matter. You're impressing, but you're not impressing God because God knows where you really live. He knows how you live. He knows how you treat the people you live with. And God ain't smiling. He ain't winking either. So I am just trying to remind you, let's not play tiddlywinks with this walk that we call walking in Christ. Let's get real. And if you're dirty, Take a Holy Ghost bath and get it together while you are still living. God bless you.